So what cap? I'm Antonio Grisepo, Martial Arts Odyssey. We are in Bangkok, Thailand, in Lumpiti Park, and we're learning about Muay Thai Boran. And if you look at it, it almost looks like MMA. This guy right here, he can do locks, he can do kicks, he can do throws, and he can beat up the monk. So what cap for me? What is it? What is it? This guy is Kun Mit. Kun Mit, cap. Right? Right. Right. Kun Mit song song. What is it? Song Muay Thai Boran. This is Muay Thai Boran. This is MMA. Uh, hand, Muay Thai Boran, everything, huh? Uh, Chu Chang Gai. Chu Chang Gai, you can do everything in Muay Thai Boran. Everything, huh? <laughs> Look, me sock, man. Me sock. Me car. Me top, man. Me lock. Me lock. Me throw. <laughs> okay, me, uh, me, okay. <laughs> okay, you know the first thing you did was slap my ear, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so basically all I want to say is around the world people learn an MMA and I think it's wonderful. But all those techniques, whether they came from Japan, China, whatever, we all got two arms, two legs. We can only move our body so many ways. You're going to find the same techniques in every country to some degree. Cool, man. Don't write off the old martial arts because they're awesome. Look at this guy's stance. Stance. He used an old Boron stance, which is very low. Sorry, man. Sorry. me, man. I mean, done. Done, done. Wow. Okay, very similar to Muay Thai Chaya, but even always lower. Generally lower. Very hard to take him down. Stands count. Stands count. Okay. Three. Muay Thai. How much? Can't take him down. He's too close to the ground. Okay, the crew, the crew is very, very strong at the bottoms of his feet, uh, and he'll kick you with the with the ball of the foot or the heel of the foot, and he's showing me how to train and train. Shin, all right? His foot is hard enough to hurt my shin. Are you training, training to me? Jim, a white guy that had been fighting in Thailand for about a couple of years. He did whatever, 12, 18 fights. And I said to him one day, I go, when you do kip, tip, when you do push kick, do you use the ball of your foot, the heel of your foot? And he said, oh, the ball, always the ball. Nobody uses the heel of their foot. I said, hey, that's not true. The more moron, they can use the heel of the foot, the ball of the foot, side of the foot, because they train it. You train it every day, it's going to be strong. Um, more moron, more moron. Two count, two count, guys. Two count, here, here, here. 
keep you here, here, and here, here. Finger here, here. Finger. Uh, uh, uh. Finger. Everything. Everything. Wow. Yeah. Hey, friend, hey. <laughs> I told I told him I told him I have a trick. I have a trick. I go, oh I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I say, oh I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but now <laughs> I can't do it. He, he defeated my trick and he kicked my groin. <laughs> How do you feel today? Tired, exhausted. So, what do you like about, do you like Muay Thai Boran? Exactly, I like it. Why? It's powerful, it is dangerous, and it teaches you to be gentle. Do you like it better than Muay Thai Tomara? I do like it better, but you have to combine it together. You have to know both of them and get it. The advantage from this one to mix in your, your style. Everything, everything. You look here? Here. 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 I've been spending a lot of time in Malaysia learning Silat Kalam, and most of the Silat Kalam throws come from putting pressure on the side, the side of the knee, the side of the knee, not the, not the joint in the back, the side. And I see he's doing exactly the same thing, but he's distracting first. Yeah. He distracts first, kicking here first. Yeah. Here. Uh -huh. Here. Ah. Jeez. ครับโต้อือชื่ออะไรครับชื่อชื่อตัวครับชื่อตัวครับชื่อตัวอ๋อเล่นมวยไทยที่ที่ครับอ๋อเล่นมวยไทยโบราณเล่นมวยไทยโ